Hello guys and welcome to my spline tutorial video. So in this tutorial video I'm just going to trick you through my final result of a spline, a spline which I think is very easy to work with and to use. Uh, and you could also just use the code that is in here to make your own spline out of it and make some adjustments to it. But overall I think this is all a, a spline uh, should have to do and should suffice. So uh, over here we already see uh, what we can do with the spline. This one over here is spline as well. But basically in the end you end up with this uh, spline base class and then we have we can just right click the spline base class and make children classes out of it. Uh, and these children classes we can then preset these values over here. So basically we can set the mesh for our spline, the section length, I will explain what that is, and some other settings here as well such as collision. So these are all exposed and then you can basically make as much of these spline children as you want depending on how many splines you need. But to showcase what this does, if you drag one in eventually then you get the spline just like this over here. Then here on the right, you can select the mesh that you want to put in here. So I got a pipe over here. Uh, so for instance, pipe mesh two. So this is my little mesh here and I can show you the 3D object over here. So it's this one. So this is my mesh. Uh, the end here is not filled and then the front here is. Uh, I also have one that actually does have an end like this. And what you can do then is basically select the end here. So select this little white dot here. And if you drag it out, it will automatically start to spline it. So one important thing to know is that when you do this, you have to look at the length of your mesh. So if we open mine up, for instance, this one, then here in the top left, you will see approximate size and it says 117, which means uh, that's the value that we need, by the way, 117 is the is the length in on the x axis so if we take a look at the gizmo here in the bottom left you see the x axis and that's what we use for this spline blueprint so we need to know the length on the x axis and that's the first one over here so it says 117 which means one meter and 17 centimeters so the first thing you have to do is type that in here so 117 and there you go so now it's the correct size and now it will automatically start to spline when i drag it out like this and if i hold alt i can then start to drag it up like this and i can then start to also drag it out just like this and as you see it will automatically and very neatly uh, start to spline my mesh like this then there is also another option over here that we can enable collision so if we if we set that to true then i can show you what the result of that is so for instance, this spline here on the left, this one is a spline as well. It has collision enabled, so you can automatically walk on it like this. And it's as easy as selecting your spline and turning the collision here to collision enabled. Um, then we can also allow scaling. So let's say we want to scale this entire spline up. We can just turn on allow scaling. And then over here with the scaling tool, I could then set the scale to two. And as you see that entire spline automatically scales up like this so let's return it back to one turn scaling off uh, and the last feature that we have pre-built into this spline is if you select the end point here you will see that there is now a, a full pipe in here and basically this half pipe if you only want full pipes and none of these half pipe stuff in your blueprint then you can turn this little uh, boolean on here must be full length mesh and if you turn that on it will simply cut it off and keep your spline uh, at complete lengths of your spline static mesh and yes you can then switch this out with any other asset so i can put this one on here it will have to end here so whatever your mesh is you can just turn that on i can also put the cubes on here so for instance this green one and there you go so how does this work let's look at the blueprint so inside of the blueprint you will not see anything in the event graph uh, you will see all of these variables here on the left. And as you see, these variables here are all instance editable. That way we can actually easily access them over here once we're in the viewport here. Uh, and then everything basically happens here in the construction script. So this is all that it is to it. Uh, and here you guys go. So you can just go ahead and uh, go through this video and pause it or check out our Patreon because you can download the asset there as well. Uh, so basically first we check if we want to allow for scaling if we do want to allow for scaling then over here we basically have some uh, codes so that we can actually scale this object uh, currently this object is oriented on the x-axis so that's why everything here is hooked up to the x value 
Um, so yeah, we just do the, the X value times 100 to set the original section length and that's how we can do the scaling. So this code basically allows for us scaling up the spline by doing it times 100. Then this code checks if it must be a full length mesh or not, which is that feature that I just showcased to you. If that's not important, then we can just have any spline mesh length. So uh, for this scenario, we basically, we get the spline, we get the spline length. So over here, we just pull this in like this. We get the length and we divide that length by the section length. So this section length is what we typed in. So for instance, this cube is one meter by one meter. So here the section length is a hundred because a hundred on of units means one meter so um, that's what we fill in here a hundred and over here it says 155 by default but this one overrides that value so basically this says a hundred so um, yeah spline length divided by a hundred that gives us an amount so let's say right that your spline length is a thousand if you divide that by a section length of a hundred that means that you would then get 10 spline sections so basically that's what the last index means so we want to loop from 0 to 10 in this case and that's how much of these spline meshes we want to add so what does this code here do well this code basically adds the actual static mesh so instead of filling it in here in a return value we set the static mesh here and this variable here is exposed as well so that's the variable that you can fill in over here uh, and then here we have to say that we have the forward axis as the X axis. In case that your static mesh is not oriented on the X axis, so you look at the gizmo and check out what it is. But for instance, on the Y axis, then what you would have to do is that you set this uh, axis here to be Y. And then also be sure to here in the front, hook up the Y axis here instead of the X axis. Okay, then continuing down the line. So here we have two functions then, uh, one to get the start position of the spline section and the other one to get the end position of the spline section. And that's what we set in this Unreal engine function then set start and end. So basically the start position, how it works is we get our section length and we do it times the index. So let's say we are at index two and we do it times our section length of hundred. That means we are at 200 units, which means we are at two meters. And then that two meters will basically be our start position over here. And then the other function that we see here is the end position of this spline section. And basically this works the same, but then plus one. So let's say that we are at that 200 length, right? We do plus one. So now we are at 300. So we do that times the section length. So then we have now got basically the spline starting at 200 ending at 300 and that's a section again a section from 200 going to 300 uh, and that's where we then set this spline mesh to be and then finally we can say that we want to have collision enabled so yeah that's basically all the code guys um, if you want to go copy it just take a look at it right now and make sure you copy all of this stuff or check out our patreon where this is available as well and then uh, if it uh, uh, if it must be full length meshes, so we do not allow that we have these half mesh lengths here. So basically, if we do not allow this, but if it must be full lengths like this, then we have this little piece of code here below that uh, handles that. So what's the difference between this code and this code? Well, basically we get the length of the of the spline divided by the section length. So let's say the length is again 1000 units. We divide it by 100. That means we have 10 sections. Uh, if we minus one on that one. So basically um, this deletes one of the sections. All right. Well, guys, I hope this uh, is nice and that you can have some use out of this blueprint and see you guys in our next video. Bye bye.